I'm going to do some passive range of motion, and so we're going to do flexion and extension of each joint up the leg. Um, we usually do uh, flexion and extension 10 to 15 times per joint. Um, so first we're going to start with the toes, and I start with each individual toe. And you're just going to continue doing each individual toe, like I said, 10 to 15 times. And then you're going to move on to all the toes together. Just nice and slow and controlled. And then um, when you move to the hock, um, you're going to do the same thing. But you're just going to put one of your hands underneath just to stabilize the whole leg. And you're going to move this joint here so the other hand will come under the foot. And you're just going to flex and extend that. So that will be done 10 to 15 times as well. And then when you move up to the knee joint, you're going to put um, one hand, usually it's my left hand if it's the right side of the dog, um, right where the above it, and then your right hand right below and hold kind of the foot down here. And you're going to slowly flex it up and then extend it slowly as well. And you want the leg to stay very parallel um, to the dog, so the knee's not facing in a downward motion or anything like that. So you want it to be on a straight line to do it correctly. And then for the hip, I kind of change directions of my hands. And you can keep this hand here. And you're going to flex the hip this way until they let you, and then back again this way. And then after you do each individual joint, um, it's nice to do the whole leg together. keeping your hands in the same positions. So like I said, you're going to do each of those 10 to 15 times. And then we'll move to the front leg. OK, so now we're going to do range of motion on the front limb. Um, just like the rear limb, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to do each individual joint. Um, and then I will show you how to do each of those. Uh, OK, so you're going to start with the toes again. And you're going to do each individual toe Again, 10 to 15 times. I only do it a couple times here, but. And then um, the whole foot. Okay, you're just gonna do it slowly. The dog will tell you if it hurts or anything. Um, and then you're gonna do the carpus joint right here. And I just brace the leg up here and then hold the foot. And then the elbow. And I just want to keep, continue to brace the elbow with my left hand. And then you're also going to do the shoulder up here. So on this one, I take my right hand and place it underneath the elbow. And then I go backwards like this. And then I change hands and I go forward like this. And then again, you can do the whole limb. So And that's range of motion on the front limb.